Hi guys, Loyal here. And after playing 15 hours of the beta in Diablo 4, I've been playing as Druid, and I found a pretty good build for him. Most of the builds in Diablo 4 do revolve around legendaries, so keep that in mind. If you find a legendary, you can base your build around it. It's some of the passives are core to certain builds. So while you're playing the game, the campaign, and you find a legendary that increases your damage by tenfold or augments a certain ability, you can play around that ability. And in this build, we'll play around Pulverize. I've seen a lot of hate towards Druid, like it's a worst class. It can be rough early. It doesn't do as much damage as Necromancer or Wizard early, but late game, it does compare. Slightly. Not as much. But let me show you the build. So, like I said, it revolves around Pulverize. All you have to do is keep your Fury up, get in there, get in front of the boss, and overpower. And it's almost dead. It's invisible. And there it is. That's it. You clear it with two overpowers. If we keep moving, trampling, getting your resource up, and finding a good angle, you can clear the room. Clear the room. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. So as you can see, just get a wind shear going, get vulnerable, and you overpower to clear the entire room. There's one boss here. There it is. You can see, it builds pretty good. It does a pretty big amount of AoE. And with the overpower damage, you can one-shot bosses. Elites, not fully bosses, but yeah. And you'll be invincible thanks to the fortifies. You can see I have 500 HP of each bar, fortify and normal life. So it's pretty hard to get through you. Plus with all the damage reduction that you, you do have, I'll show you how the build works. Now let's get into the build. The abilities are wind shear, which will be your resource generator thanks to the uh, augment that increases your spirit based on how much enemies you hit with it and it's one of the best range attacks of the druid you have pulverize max level with enhanced pulverize that gives you that overpower damage every 10 seconds when you're healthy which you will be healthy with all the fortify that you'll be getting we'll get abundance to get more spirit and getting the two howls blood blood howl and the Ability Roar, which help you shape shift, giving you more health and fortify. I'll show you which with what legendary passive you get that. Blood Hell giving you spirit, and you'll have trample as well. It's great mobility, it's good for stuns, and it's another shape shifting ability. We'll be having quip shift, which when you shape shift from one from one form or the other, the attack that you use to shape shift will have 15% increased damage. And all these damage will stack up into the pulverized damage. I'll show you how the passives will help you achieve that. So you can see here we have pulverized creates a shockwave that travels forward, dealing 130% damage. This is two instances of damage, the smash and the shockwave. If you can hit it correctly at the right distance, you will hit both instances of damage doing double damage. You also have a uh, certain uh, legendary passage that increases your damage based on certain uh, circumstances, like this one having barrier, uh, this one having more primary resource, 30%. This one that gives you 40% based on how much fortify you have, which most of the time you'll have a max, so that's 40% more. And the bread and butter as well of the tankiness is this a passive, which when you shape shift, and change forms, you gain 41 life. And if you have full HP, you will add that 41 into your fortify. So going infinite, basically, as long as you keep cycling your abilities correctly with your attacks. Wind shear will transform you into human. Bear attacks will transform you into bear and wolf into wolf. You also have these two uh, passives that increases your damage reduction. 14% when you're in wolf form and 25% when you use a basic skill, which is wind shear. You also have these gloves that increases your core damage by 6% for each companion you have. I have two wolves, 
I can also add the other legendary passive that increases the amount of wolves that you have and turns them into werewolves. But that one, you know, as and like I said, you need to find those skills to make it happen. So yeah, that is how the build works. So, have fun with the build, enjoy it, and don't pick, well, yes, there will be classes better than the others, yes, but have fun, theorycraft, uh, play a class that you want, that you like the mechanics, find the legendaries that you, that you, you know, with the legendaries that you, legendaries that you find, build your class, and have fun, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the release.